Okay guys, welcome back to another video of mine. Today's video is going to be my September wrap up. As you can tell, I have a lot of fun books. Um, so let's just get into reading them. Today we are going to be talking about all the books I read in September. I actually don't remember how many books I've read, but we're just gonna go in order. We're gonna talk about them. First book I read this month was actually Not In Love by Allie Hazelwood. This one, I can't believe it took me this long to read it. Usually I read her new releases like within days of them coming out um but yeah i rated this one five stars i've rated all of her books five stars this one is following a girl named rue and this guy named eli and they like go on a blind date to like hook up but then they don't end up hooking up and then they're co-workers and then they're like what are we doing and i just had such a fun time um because they like they're kind of off off like limits but then like they're obviously drawn together and i just think it's so so sweet how they um how this book ended i guess i am having a hard time remembering everything about it but i know i loved eli i thought he was really fun or ellie however you want to say his name um but i will say the betrayal in this was interesting it was sad just like girl what are you doing um but i also like understand it and i just love eli like i love him he's like he knows all these recipes because his ex fiance was a cook but that's okay that's okay like that's a red flag or a green flag for him um in this book i guess but anyway i really enjoyed this five stars these are just such feel good books and if you're looking for a book that's going to get you out of the slump start with Allie Hazelwood for sure. I also want to point out Allie Hazelwood has said this one is more of like an erotica like they bond over sex versus like emotional connection. Sex comes first and then it's emotional. So just a, for, a forewarning. Um, on the sex train the next book I have is Barbarian's Taming by Ruby Dixon. I believe this is eight book in this Ice Planet Barbarian series. I also think this is probably the last one I'm going to read as far as I'm aware because I've been purchasing the special edition copies um since they've been coming out and i think this might have been the last one this one came out in june i'm pretty sure i think i was abroad when it came out and so i finally read it this month these are super quick very easy to get into this one did take me a while and i think it was just because i have kind of lost interest in this series even though i do think it's good i think science fiction wise it's fine like it's pretty like sub tier if you're dipping your toe into science fiction like maybe this is like this is erotica this is romance for sure um i did like maddie i think the representation in this series is actually really good um which is just like you wouldn't expect i don't think for like what this is like it's literally a blue alien on the cover but like diversity and inclusion is so good um uh, but anyway it is it is problematic like i don't want to take away from that because there's like consent is not really consent is not really happening but anyway i did enjoy it i rate all of these about three stars because like i like it i keep on reading them but i'm not gonna like i'm not necessarily gonna recommend it like maybe if you seem interested in this i'll recommend it i recommended this series to my friend Feline and she's like obsessed with it so it really depends on who you are and what your interests are if you would enjoy that book i guess um but anyway so since I started school at the end of August, I've been reading a lot of science fiction for one of my classes. So there's definitely a few science fiction novels. The first one being The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This book was so freaking good. I'm pretty sure I rated it. I rated it four stars, um, which honestly, I'm like, I feel like it should be five stars. So maybe I should revise that, but we'll see. But it was so interesting. Um, it follows it follows like this one character. It follows three characters. Asun, um, I need to look at the names. Um, Sanzi, and then I can't find the other character's name. But there's three characters, and it just takes you through a story that's so crafted, like beautifully. Asun is kind of like the main character, and it's a science fiction world it's i think it's on earth i would say it's set on earth but this earth doesn't have a moon but like it did have a moon it is just such a warped like world it's a soon and these other characters have the ability to connect with the earth um and like what are they called i can't remember what they're called but they have like this connection to the earth and it's definitely like jemison making a commentary on like the control that the government has on people and like Definitely, it's a racial thing. All of these science fiction books that I've read are all written by black authors, and it's like Afrofuturism. And so I just thought this was so good, and I definitely think it needs more hype. I wish I had more eloquent words 
to explain just how impactful this book is and I'm definitely like I want to continue the series I'm pretty sure it's a trilogy um not on the top of my TBR right now but definitely up there where I'm like this is so good my partner in London has actually read it and he loved it um so I'm like if you want to read this read it but anyway that's the first one and we'll get into some more um for my thesis I actually gave Eclipse a reread 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 rated at five stars yes i know it's not the most beautiful literature but i love this series it's so it's so close to my heart like it's just my childhood in a saga and i just love it um so yeah i'm writing my thesis about it so i gave it a reread and was just kind of like marking up things that i am going to include in my thesis so yeah i reread this and then i also will just get into the next one um i reread breaking dawn uh rated at five stars as well this one's interesting because you get jacob's point of view if you didn't know that um it's not all to hold from bella's point of view which is interesting um i'll just say there's problematic things in those novels but they're really more of just a feel good they bring me back to childhood they're funny like they are funny and it's a sweet like romance um if you look past the problematic stuff um but anyway, I also read two plays by Shakespeare. I'll start with A Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, and I thought this one was super good. It's a comedy. Um, it's about fairies and magical stuff. This is also for my thesis. Uh, Breaking Dawn was partly inspired by this. Um, it alludes to this maybe is a better way to say it. But yeah, I actually think this might... I think this might be my favorite Shakespeare play I've read. I'm pretty sure. Let me pull up my review. I rated it five stars. Um, I haven't actually read Much Ado About Nothing, but the I did see it in Shakespeare's Globe. And I did like that more than this, but I don't know if like reading it, it would translate the same. So I'm going to have to like read that one first before I decide that one's my favorite. Um, but anyway, this was fun. It had um, this guy right here his head is literally transformed to a donkey's head and like someone falls in love with him with the influence of like magical things happening so I definitely recommend this it's super quick plays are super quick I personally recommend listening to an audiobook while you're reading it for me that makes it easier to understand um so yeah and I also I personally like the Norton Critical Editions from like a scholarly point of view but if you want like pretty ones I would recommend getting uh the pink, the pelican shakespeare collection i think this is so pretty i was gonna get the norton version but it was like 80 dollars, so i got the pretty version because look at that it's so fun um but anyway the merchant of venice is the other book that breaking dawn is alludes to um in yeah alludes to and so i gave this one a read this is probably my least favorite shakespeare i think i rated it like three stars probably yeah i rated it three stars um this one talks about there's a lot of prejudice in here and it talks about like this man owing a pound of flesh and then his partner like somehow gets them out of it but anyway um it's pretty interesting this is like the book that alice tears a page off of to write a note to bella so anyway that's why i am writing about that um but yeah three stars for that those are all of the physical books I read this um, month. I do have a few more. The next book I have is Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. Um, sorry for mispronunciation. This is another one that I read for my class and it's super short. I think it's technically a novella and it's also a trilogy and I rated it four stars. It was so good. It follows the character Binti as she is making a uh trans galaxy i think like travel to go to university university when she sh comes um into contact with this species that is very scary they're called the Meduse, um and they like kill everyone around her and this all happens like really really early so i'm not necessarily spoiling anything and so she basically has to like is she going to survive this encounter and then once she does discover this what happens next um as she's going to university so i definitely want to read like the following books in the series because i think a lot of questions that i have would be answered but again this is a social commentary on specifically the university structure within this novel that's definitely a big thing is like how universities or libraries like take things that aren't theirs um so kind of like a colonialism uh commentary i would say but yeah this book was super good definitely recommend it um like i said want to read more i have a another science fiction book that i read and this one i think might have been 
actually i think this one might have been my favorite that we've read thus far we actually just discussed this this week and that was pet by Aqu uh aquaki amezi um and i'm pretty sure there is another book to this as well that is about uh, the main character's um, mother. The main character's name is Jam. She is a black transgender um, teenager and she lives in this perfect world called Lucille. It's a city uh, probably in the U.S. and it's like they've eradicated all the monsters. Like the politicians are gone, the police are gone, all of this is gone. Um, there's no monsters and then her mother's painting comes to life and out comes this like monster appearing and he's hunting for a monster. And it's kind of a question of like who are monsters really like this person looks it's a person but not really it's just an it pet is its name and pet is seeking out the monsters and you're like oh but pet aren't you the monster and it's like no monsters are the people in our homes and it's definitely like heavy it's considered a young adult book i'm pretty sure um it's definitely like the content is like it's about like the monsters within the home like it, i don't want to spoil anything but that's what that's about i did really like it. i rated it five stars i want to read the follow-up it's a prequel actually it's called bitter which is jam the main character's mother but anyway i really liked it i thought the representation was so cool it's kind of like a discussion of uto utopia so i personally perceived all of the characters as black uh, a lot of the characters queer and it just felt like there was no explanation for those things like that was just totally normal and to me that feels like pretty utopian because that's not the world we live in as much as I wish like people could just be and be accepted unfortunately that's not what it looks like but anyway that, that's the setting of this novel and obviously there's still things wrong with it um but I, I really enjoyed it and I think Amezi did a really good job with that one. So I, I highly recommend that. If you're going to read any science fiction I'm recommending in this video, I would recommend Pet. Um, but anyway, next we have some fun books that I read per, um, oh my gosh, why am I forgetting her name? Heather? I think her name's Heather. I love her so much. I love, love, love her videos. They're so fun. I feel like she's an underrated booktuber. So if you guys are watching this if you are high watch her i will link it down below hopefully if i remember but she had done a reading vlog where she read blood orange which is the first book in the dracula duet um by karina halley or hale and oh my gosh i ate this up i think i rated it four stars i thought it was so good i don't know i love a vampire romance i love it i love it i love it i will say i personally i don't mind spice scenes but there's certain spice that i do mind i'm personally not into like bdsm not that that's what this is but like I don't like, like, I like, I like reading Spice, like, it's fun, and I like Vampire Spice specifically because of the biting. I don't know what it is, guys, this is me, this is me telling you things that you don't need to know, but something about this was just a little too much for me, and I didn't skip any scenes, actually, but I definitely could have, like, I wasn't, I was like, good for you guys, but this is not my thing, and so, that's all I have to say. I liked the idea of reincarnated lovers. I liked the idea of the main male protagonist being the inspiration be behind tw uh, Twilight, behind Dracula. Like, I thought that was really interesting. The ending completely shocked me. Like, if you guys are going to read this, I had an idea. It didn't actually shock me. I knew what was happening, like, as we were leading up to it. I was like, okay, I know, like, I know what's going to happen. And then it happened, and I was like, whoa. And so I immediately jumped into the second book. It's a duology, so this is the second and last. And that's The Black Rose, or it's called Black Rose. And I like this one. Again, spice scenes, not personally my thing, but the romance between the two characters. Like, I hate it, but I love it. And that's the only way I can explain it. And if you've read it, you know. Um, but yeah, rated this one three stars. It wasn't as good as the first one but it was still good i'm glad i read it and again reincarnated lovers love it and i found out that this is actually like an interconnected series world she has i think two other or maybe it's just one other duology or trilogy about other characters within the series um and so i don't know if i'll ever read them but maybe i liked her writing style i thought it was fun it's a fun little fantasy world 
um, where mystical beings are alive. I think those are all the books I read, so let's count how many I read. One. Okay, I think I read 11 books this month, which is pretty fun. Um, it's definitely the best reading month I've had since like May or like April or something like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and watching me talk about all the books I read this past month. I will be having my October TBR coming soon. I'm actually probably going to film it like right now. So <laughs> spoiler. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you guys read in September, if you met your reading goals, um, and what you're planning on reading in October because I want to know. Um, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace and love. Bye, guys.